the panorama of gaming peripheral, in particular of that of controller, is getting wider and wider. Today we are going to discover a new controller for PC. This is a new big big one rainbow. Good morning and welcome to Tech Interceptor. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming video. The little known company is churning out few but qualitative products. The controller comes in this well-made package with sides in a beautiful shade of orange and the contrasting text in white. Above all, the motto, the mantra of the company, play big, one big. On the back and the front, both with a black background, we are presented the controller with clean graphics where it shows itself with its unique Aurora RGB Luminous signature from which it takes the name Rainbow. Through the graphics, we are shown the main feature that we'll examine during the video. The first feature that are listed are its cross-platform compatibility for PC with Windows 10 later version installed and with Nintendo Switch. The presence of 6 axis gyroscope and the 3.5mm audio jack. Inside the package we find the controller, a 3 meter USB micro USB cable will loan solid and not too rigid with which to connect it to the various devices, the user guide in English, Japanese and Chinese, the 12 month warranty card and a small company sticker. The Rainbow controller weighs 226 gram and the measure 154 mm, 105 mm and is 24 mm tall. The controller is very well built and solid. There is no cracking or other noises even when trying to force or flex it. The controller aesthetically incorporates the stylistic feature of the official Xbox controller, as well as the shape and layout. The body is made entirely of glossy transparent plastic, with the exception of the internal part of the handle and in the part of the trigger. What distinguishes the Rainbow Must from all other controllers available on the market is its RGB light signature controllable by pressing the function key and via software through the official Big Big One app available for Android and iOS. The transparent body of a controller allows us to see the inside without having to disassemble it. There are two black PCB signed Big Big One superimposed on each other with all its internal component, the mechanism of the sticks, the vibration motor, the LED, the solder and the various processors present. Returning to the outside, on the front we find the sticks with asymmetrical layout, 8-way D-pad, action button A, B, X, Epsilon, the select and the start keys the capture button on the side of a R3 stick and the company logo which is actually the home button that activates the Xbox function on PC and the mode indicator LED. 
Between the handle in the middle of the controller body, we find the 3.5 mm jack, through which to connect our favorite audio peripheral directly to the controller. Rising and lowering the volume directly from the controller is very simple, using the function key and the up and down levers of the D-pad. The upper part we find the back button, LB, LT, RB, RT trigger and in the middle the USB port to connect the cable to our devices. The RB and LB trigger are clickable in various places all the way to the end, while the RT and LT trigger are also very comfortable and feel like they have more travel than the original Xbox controller. On the back we find two custom back buttons and the function button. The latter is very important as through it it is possible to start many functions of the controller. Two vibration motors are installed in the controller handle, where intensity is set in four different levels, strong, medium, weak and off. By pressing the function key and the right key of the D-pad, it is possible to adjust the intensity of the vibration. The M1, M2, M3, M4 back button include the functionality of a singing macros to them using the action button A, B, X, Epsilon or trigger L, B, L, T, R, B, R, T and direction button. By holding down the function key and then pressing the back button, you will enter the macro recording mode indicated by blue LED. You can record the sequence of commands and pressing the back button and the function button in sequence will exit the record mode. Now pressing the back button will perform the previously recorded sequence. To cancel the recording macro, simply re-enter the recording mode and press the back button again. And once the function has been cancelled, the blue LED will flash. Another function included is the turbo function with which we can set a combo as we please. By holding down the function button and then the target key, the setting will be confirmed with the mode indicator which will light up orange twice. This function can only be used with the action button A, B, X, Epsilon and the L, B, R, B button. Another gem we find is the 6-axis gyroscope called Girocon. Calibration is very simple to do, just hold the function key and press the capture button for 3 seconds, after a while the orange indicator will light up to notify us of the completion of the procedure. The gyroscope can be activated with the combination of key function plus L3 or function plus R3 or with LT, M1, M2, M3, M4 plus function plus R3. In addition, the controller can be made compatible with PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 thanks to the R90 adapter sold separately.
controller is available on the market at a retail price of 49.99 US dollar or 49.99 euros at the time of making this video. In conclusion, we did not find any reliability and performance issues during our test. The hardware and the software side connected to it is great and well programmed with a wide range of options available in our hand directly from the controller. The app is also well made with various settings to use the option to control the controller lightning and update the controller firmware. The aesthetic part is well done. The only thing I could pin to the controller as a future improvement for the next generation of the rainbow is to use a ruger type of plastic in the triggers, the d-pad and the keys, and maybe even use a leaf texture in the handle area to increase the grip. On the contrary, one thing that I was perplexed about are the back button, but yes, they are easily accessible in every phase of the game, but honestly, you are not always precise in pressing them. Perhaps it would have been better not to have used this button type, but to have opted for more comfortable paddle button. In conclusion, Big Big One did a great job with a rainbow controller, and in this price range it offers much more in terms of functionality and build quality. And you, what do you think? Let me know, as always, in the comments below, and if you find this video helpful, then leave a like, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.